Hi everyone and welcome back to another HP Prime video. It's been a while since I've done one, mainly due to the fact that I've been hanging out with my two awesome sons over the summer. Anyway, now that HP released a new firmware for the HP Prime, I thought I'd go back and try to see if I could add some updates to the 3D Grapher. One of the new features of the new uh, firmware update is that um, the triangle command is a little more robust. It can do alpha blending and that's going to allow me to uh, get rid of using fill poly or polyfill, whichever the command that was, that was super slow in the old version. So let's take a look at the old version and see how it plots. So in the old version, if we do rotations, it doesn't draw the function until after we release the rotation key. So let's do a single frame. So you can see the delay in a single rotation. And that's despite the fact that we are on an emulator on a very fast PC. Let's hop on over to the uh, triangle implementation. So here we can actually draw every single frame. We can draw all the different rotations as we're rotating as opposed to waiting until we release a rotation key and then drawing the final output. And you can see it's considerably faster than the old version. Uh, in this new version everything is pretty much implemented other than the trace feature and the reason for that is because the transformation um, used in the triangle command isn't the same as what I had used um, in my previous version. So that's that's gonna have to be re-implemented um, I probably won't release this just yet, mainly due to the fact that there's still some buggy behavior in the triangle command and that could sometimes lead to lockups and um, I, I can't seem to figure out what exactly causes it. And it may not even be the triangle command for all I know. The other thing too is I want to add some features such as three-dimensional contour graphs and two-dimensional contour graphs. So I'm still playing around with that. Um, Anyway, that's the new feature of the triangle command. Uh, another feature is this pragma. So a lot of uh, users of the 3D Grapher have complained that you know it didn't install properly, and and most of the uh, reasons were, well, it, it mostly boiled down to um, users changing their fraction separator to uh, a comma instead of a, a period or a decimal. Um, so, or something you know similarly related. So the pragma command allows us to specify what mode that the source code was written in so that if somebody else downloads the source code they don't have to say change their settings to match that of the source code, compile the program and then change things back to their desired settings. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Um, the other thing about the the triangle command is we don't have to actually implement translucency. So I just switched to uh, non-transparency mode and we have uh, basically z-clipping or hidden line removal. So you can see here how um, this little portion of our surface hides the stuff that's in, in the back. Um, so that's another cool feature that uh, I can now implement into the 3D Grapher. We can go back and forth between uh, translucency and non and, and just an opaque um, 3D graph. That's pretty much it for this video. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll try to produce some more useful videos uh, in the near future. So thanks again, and hope to catch you all next time.